Who said fish can't be romantic? They can. Well, not just any fish, but this one in particular. Seahorses may be horrible swimmers, but they're spectacular dancers. During courtship, a seahorse couple gets together to perform their dancing ritual. But this dance comes with a warning. It can cause male pregnancy. Seahorses know how to ruin gender stereotypes. When it comes to giving birth, they abandon the traditional roles of moms and dads altogether. The male seahorse has an abdominal pouch. That's where the female places her eggs for him to fertilize. After that, she's got nothing to do with this pregnancy. Well, other than dealing with the male's late night ice cream cravings. Why did seahorse dads take over the responsibility of bringing their young ones into the world? How does this process work? And are we absolutely sure that the seahorse giving birth is a dad? Seahorses don't have external genitalia, but there are other ways to identify their gender, like the size of their sex cells, or gametes. Females produce eggs, the biggest gametes, while males make sperm, the smallest ones. So yes, this seahorse is definitely a male, one whose sex life is out of the ordinary. When the female deposits her eggs into the male's pouch, the male fertilizes them with his sperm right on the spot. Seahorse dads make good moms for their offspring, providing oxygen and all the necessary nutrients to their embryos and protecting them from underwater dangers. After just 24 days of this male pregnancy, about a thousand little seahorses are born. One week before the baby seahorses leave their warm and comfy pouch, the seahorse dad starts producing hatch signals. These signals cue the embryos to begin hatching out of their thin membranes. They start swimming inside the brood pouch and stretch it until this fascinating birthing process begins. It's still unclear why seahorse dads carry the offspring, given that it's a female's responsibility in any other animal. But their entire underwater existence isn't exactly ordinary. I mean, they can't even swim, right? Seahorses make their way among seaweed and other plants, moving in an upright position only. They have no teeth or stomachs. Their food passes right through them. To stay alive, seahorses have to eat almost every second of their lives. Hey, that's what I call overeating with no guilt. Ultimately, seahorses are unique in the way they feed, swim, and let their dads walk around pregnant. And that's why they're crazy creatures.